adjustments that we worked on in 2008 were important in getting us ready for the federal reform that we are now going to be able to participate in and, and, and our, our state is better prepared to do so. Um, you know, there are the mental health reforms to help people be served better in the community, not need as many hospitalizations, that's clearly very important. What are your, some of your biggest disappointments? Well, I, I would say my biggest disappointment was um, being the chair of the Health and Human Services Budget Division for eight years of budget deficits. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was tough, you know. Um, I hope Minnesota will be over that soon. Do you think it will be? I don't know. I thought we would be this year, so. I'm not a good predictor, I guess, of that. Do you think there's any long-term solution for this tug of war between costs and excess and um, politics seems so polarized, uh, especially since the national bill passed? Well, I mean, I think one thing everybody agrees on is we do need to control health care costs. And it's unfortunate the federal reform has been so politicized because it has a lot of tools in there to help us do that. Um, one of the things that excites me about this job is I will be part of a team that will be not just trying to control health care costs, but bringing social services in to help meet people's needs in a way where their health care costs will go down. And it's unique that Hennepin County has every, everything that they can bring it together. And um, so um, I'm, I'm optimistic and I'm happy that we're, as a state now, taking these things seriously. I believe people will be better off because of it. Uh, I believe we'll be a healthier, more productive state, and I believe we will bring down health care costs. I hope policymakers in the future see the link between health care costs, housing, and social services because um, it, it becomes very important that you not be pulling out pillars that are needed to support the entire cost containment effort. Other questions? I just want to thank the press. You've always been very kind to me, and I appreciate the relationship that we've had. Thank you. Thank you.